My name is Ashanti Harris and I'm a visual artist working with sculpture, installation, film and performance. This is my studio. I'm a sculptor by training and I spend a lot of time working physically with materials and sculptural processes. Physically making things helps me to think through ideas, so I generally end up with lots of objects. I really love working with traditional sculptural materials like plaster, wax, clay and bronze, alongside new things that I find and start to play with. I'm also interested in the expanded ways an artwork can be experienced, and this has led me to work with performance, movement and choreography as elements within my sculptural practice. I work choreographically and sculpturally with my own body as well as with groups of people to perform ideas through actions, gestures and movement. Thinking about the body and movement is really interesting. Your body is your first point of contact with the world. It's how you interact with each other and everything around you and it's through your body that you exist in any space. In this video, I'm going to share a game with you for exploring different ways of moving and thinking about movement choreographically. You can play this game in your home, in your garden, or you can listen to it whilst you're on a walk and turn your walk into a performance. If you do play this game whilst out on a walk, remember to stay safe and keep a good distance away from other people. Make sure you are in a park or another place just for people walking and away from any cars. I'm going to go outside into my garden. Are you ready? Let's play. Begin by walking in any direction you like. Whilst you're walking, focus on keeping to a comfortable speed. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. Take some time while you're walking to think about what this speed feels like in your body. How are your hands moving? What's your head doing? And how do your feet touch the ground? Don't change anything about the way that you're walking. Just notice. So we're going to call this walk your 100%. So remembering your 100% as this walk, I'm going to ask you to walk 110%. It's just a tiny, tiny little bit more. How does it feel different in your body? Are you feeling a little bit more rushed or does it almost feel the same? Okay, what about 150%? That's a wee bit faster. And back to your 100%. Does your 100% feel different after going 150? Do you feel like you slowed down a bit or is this still the same as your original 100%? What about 200%? That's twice as fast. You should be able to cover the same distance in half the amount of time. And go back to your 100%. 200%.
Let's try in the other direction. What does 75% feel like? It's only a tiny bit slower. Or maybe slower is the wrong word. It's a tiny bit less. In whatever way that means to you. Back to 100%. Let's try 50%. That's half the speed. It should take you twice as long to make the same journey you would take at 100%. How does it feel walking at 50%? When else would you ever walk at this speed? When else do you ever have the time to walk at this speed? Let's go back to 100 100%. 100%. 100%. 50%. 150%. 25% Now that's getting really slow You should be able to feel the way that it's changing your movement How are your feet touching the ground? Can you feel your muscles activating trying to slow yourself down? What does 10% feel like? What about 5%? That's almost not moving at all. What about 1%? Very good. The tiniest, tiniest of movements. 200%. Okay, whilst you're moving at 200%, at double the speed of your 100%, I'm going to give you a few more instructions. The first instruction is the word freeze, and that's quite self-explanatory. When you hear the word freeze, I want you to freeze wherever you are. Freeze. What does your freeze look like? Are your hands out to the sides? Are you mid-step? Do you have both feet on the ground or just one? One hundred percent. The next instruction I'm going to give you uh, is the word turn. Now when you hear the word turn, very simple, I want you to change direction. Freeze. One hundred percent. Turn. 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 Freeze. Whilst you're frozen, I'm going to give you the next instruction. The next instruction is the word favorite. So when you hear the word favorite, I want you to stop still wherever you are, look around you, find your favorite thing and point at it. And stay there pointing at your favorite object. Are you ready? Favorite. Say 
75%. Okay, you're doing really well, so I'm just going to keep giving you more instructions. The next instruction is up. When you hear the word up, you carry on walking at whatever speed you previously were at, but your head is going to turn upwards towards the ceiling or the sky, depending on whether you're inside or outside. Are you ready? Up. How does it change the way that you're moving? Do you have to slow down a little bit to make sure that you don't bump into something? And what can you see? Is it something that you wouldn't normally see? What do you think you look like? Favorite. A hundred and ten percent. Okay, I'm going to keep giving you instructions and the next one, we've just had up, so the next one is down. And so when you hear the word down, you continue walking at whatever speed you are at, but I want you to turn your head towards your feet. Are you ready? Down. What does this remind you of? Does it remind you of when it's raining and you're trying not to get the rain on your face? Or maybe it reminds you of feeling, feeling sad and hanging your head down. Or maybe it reminds you of thinking and getting to, into a daydream. They say that when people are daydreaming, they tend to look at their feet. Fifty percent up. Twenty percent down. Turn. Okay, I'm going to give you the next instruction. It's an easy one. When you hear the word clap, clap. Both of your hands together. That's great. Clap. Okay, I'm going to add the last instruction. This last one is a fun one. It's called hand knee. And when you hear the words hand knee, I want you to put both of your hands on each of your knees and keep walking. Are you ready? Hand knee. How does this change the way that you're moving? How does it feel? What do you think you look like? Does it remind you of anything? Hand, knee, 100%. Hand, knee, 150%. Hand, knee, 10%. Favorite. 100%. 200%. Oh, I forgot to say you can take your hands off your knees if you haven't already. Clap. Turn. 
75%. Up. Down. Up. Down. Turn. Up. Freeze. I'm not going to leave you there. 150%. 100%. That's great. Well done, everyone.